Hey guys, so today we're going to be discussing how the hell do we get into cybersecurity without any experience. And it's going to be very difficult, but you got to follow my lead. You got you to hear me out and I'm going to try to help you as much as I can. I'm not giving you a fantasy story. I'm not going to make up things, but you have to put in the effort. And I, I'm dead serious when I say this is that the effort that you put in maybe more than what you're trying to do uh, what, what you're trying to do already what you're apparently doing right now if you're working right now it's going to require more time on your side on, on you know on you to put in all this effort and you may not even get any compensation for it because the effort does not equal how much you earn or how much you would get paid the effort is just trying to get into this door and it's going to be really challenging because there's not just one of you out there there's not just a hundred of you there are thousands and thousands of guys and girls just like you meaning they're trying to get their foot into cybersecurity because it's the biggest hype right now like the biggest thing since bitcoin can you imagine that so what what is my theory or what is my solution for you guys to get into this world of cybersecurity. Well, hear me out. Uh, walk it off right here. David Smith, one of my subscribers, has been really struggling right now. And he's trying to understand, at least my understanding of what he's writing here. Okay, so first off, he subscribed, as you all should be doing. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, down to earth, realistic approach. I thank you for that. I appreciate that. I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything. All right, there's nothing to even sugarcoat. Cybersecurity, in my honest opinion, if I had to categorize my feeling for it, I hate it and I love it. That's the only best way I could explain it. All right, so I'm working on my AA degree. That's an associate degree in cybersecurity. That is awesome. You have a A plus certification uh, studying for the security plus. Good. You got some good foundations going on over there. I have zero work experience in the tech space so i know labs will be vital for me to overcome my lack of real world experience i saw job postings for an intern that requires three years of completed college plus a minimum of one year work experience now when you say intern is that specific for cybersecurity internship or just it in general internships meaning like support desk or you know a field engineer you know like lower level networking or support engineers or or are, are you actually saying specifically for interns in the cybersecurity world right in spite of cybersecurity constantly saying there is a shortage of people it can be very difficult to join the club yes and we're, we're going to try to address that right now i understand there is a huge asso uh, associated cost to it but until cybersecurity opens up more entry level positions or internships and willing to make the investment in training new hires the career shortage may continue thanks for sharing your work experience uh, your experience and wisdom keep up the good work okay david smith so here's here's what i'm thinking it's it is difficult right and you're going to probably hear me say that all the time it, it's like beyond difficult so what can you do about it now, the internship that you're talking about that requires three years and the college, I don't know if that's specific to cybersecurity. But if it's not, let's just say if it's general for all IT, that kind of sucks, right? Three years of completed college, it's either two or four, right? I mean, unless you went for a two-year college and you kind of fell behind and then you completed three years. Does that count? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But you are going for your associate degree. From my understanding, that is a two-year uh college degree right and would you not qualify for that well here's the thing and from the beginning i said you know it, it's going to be a lot of effort on your part if and when you su start submitting your resume so the first thing i want you guys to do the guys who are on this fence or on this boat that can't get anything create a very visual linkedin with all your knowledge all your skill sets put that on there and then reach out to individuals whether it's your professors or your teachers uh you know friends in the industry right or even work employees cohorts whatever you want 
that you are close with, that you have a good relationship with, and understand your work, your work ethics. Tell them, ask them to like, you know, kind of boost you up a little bit because just because you're not in the field yet, right? It doesn't mean that your work ethics or your morals are not there, right? Because that's that that has two separate things, right? As, as a person, you're able to comprehend things and you're able to complete tasks on time. It has nothing to do with IT. It has nothing to do with cybersecurity. You want to just show that you're capable. So build out this completed LinkedIn profile with a nice, nice, you know, shirt and tie profile picture, little circle on LinkedIn and list out everything that you've done, right? I know, I know it's going to be a little difficult because you don't have any work experience. Build out the labs, right? And I've said this before, build out the labs. But here's the thing. Once you do that, start throwing yourself out there, meaning have your resume. And I, I've had a, a video that I did pretty well in and people actually liked it. There was a template in there and I started using it. And, and since I've started using it, I was getting tons of like, I had like five interviews in, in one week because of this change of format in the resume. It was just so simple. So do that, right? Build out the new resume, build out the new profile. And I'm, and I'm saying you do all this, you're not getting paid to do any of this. This is all efforts on your part. And once you do that, you keep sending it out, all types of position. Now, I'm not saying you go for like CISO positions or senior, you know, uh, SOC leads or anything like that, or, or, you know, high-end developers. I'm saying apply for anything within the IT realm, if, if that's what you're trying to accomplish. Now, I know if you're starting off and you say, I want to become a pen tester, no pen testing position is going to hire you because you don't have the experience, unfortunately. And as Mr. David Smith said, how can you find a job if you don't have the experience? And, and if that's the case, isn't this vacancy within this job market always going to be there? It will be. You know why? Because no one's ever going to be perfect enough to find the right job or, or you're going to get hired for the right job. They're, they're always looking for someone that's going to be pristine or at least close to it or at least have some experience where they don't have to babysit every single second of the day. No company, and I can guarantee you this, whether you own it or I own it or it's McDonald's, they don't. Well, actually, let me take that back. McDonald's might because they'll just take anyone off the street and train them right from day one and, and start paying them. I think right now in New York is like $16 an hour or, or probably even more now. They won't, besides McDonald's or any other food industry possibly, uh, let's just say Microsoft, Google, right? Or, you know, some of the larger ones that everyone's familiar with or maybe a bank or, or healthcare. They're looking for someone that has experience because the, no one really wants to bring in someone young, untrained, no knowledge, and spend so much money into training this person that is as if they didn't hire anyone. If, if anything, they, they start losing money because what they were trying to accomplish by hiring someone was to complete projects and tasks and do the work not lose more time by training someone and they don't know how to do any of this stuff or they can kind of train while working at the same time although don't get me wrong there are jobs out there or companies that are willing to train into a you know a specific application because it's so proprietary that it doesn't exist outside of their organization so they have to train someone to actually use it right it's not like it's quickbooks or some uh, public accounting software that everyone if you in the industry if you know how to use it you just come in and you start doing your thing but you know if someone built something very specific you have to get trained right uh same, same as uh if you actually went into the government sector and you like uh 911 dispatch you have to get training for that stuff that no other job would be like similar in a way it, it's very little Right, the percentage is very small, so it's not like everyone's gonna know how to take nine one one calls or three one one calls right here in New York City, and know how to redirect them and how to handle it. They they need to be trained, right? Training goes across all the boards, 
anything, any job, not just cybersecurity. But there's there's a difference, right? Because you could become a sanitation worker and they'll train you how to do all that stuff. You could become a police officer and they'll train you how to do all that stuff. Cybersecurity has not done that. They I have not seen any positions in cybersecurity that is willing to do that until you actually have some certain level of knowledge in order to achieve that. They're not going to bring you in without knowing anything because I, I guarantee you when you're a police officer or trying to become a police officer or a sanitation worker or any of those municipal you know, uh, agencies, they don't need you to understand anything. They may need you to pass a physical and, and take some written exam, but for cybersecurity positions, it's rare. Right. They don't they don't train you even though you don't know anything. They'll give you more training on top of what you already know. And that's the difference. So how do you combat all this? So going back to the original is. Build out this LinkedIn, right, this nice profile, build out your resume. Put everything and anything and you, it's going to be very competitive because now you're competing with guys who maybe have one year of experience, maybe have two years of experience or maybe have more knowledge in certain labs because they put in software, right? The software is a, a lot of software are free. You could actually download, you know, CrowdStrike for, I, I believe it was like 90 days or whatever. And that's pretty common across the board now, right? Learn about DLP, learn about, you know, uh, if you're trying to get into pen testing, learn more about like Nmap and Wireshark and all that other stuff, right? There's, there's going to be differences in, in what, jobs you're looking for or unless unless this is what i'm suggesting is that you start looking for it jobs in general it doesn't have to be cybersecurity. but if you you couldn't you could apply for all of them but if you land one great great but if you don't i can guarantee you any other it positions that you apply for and if you get this position they're always going to have an it department then you trickle into that realm right then you associate yourself you mingle with the your co-workers in this organization wherever it is right and, and you're going to work with them and you're going to sit in with them who knows maybe they'll be like they'll give you an offer or you apply for internal transfer it just may work out that way you just have to put in that effort and that's why i say you have to put in so much effort more than what you're used to because you're not going to get paid to do any of this and you have to slowly work your way in. I will be putting out a video on how I got into cybersecurity 10 plus years ago. And it's an interesting story. I got very fortunate and I will explain that one day. But this video is for you guys to don't give up and just you have to put in that effort. And when I say effort, it's building out everything. Make yourself shine like you know you're you're the top pick regardless if you have the experience or not the experience will come when you find that job that's willing to accept you because of your personality how you delivered yourself what you actually know as far as your technical skills even though you don't have the experience yet you have to sell that you have to have to sell that all right so there you go uh you know also, you, you, you really have to start reviewing, and I'll leave it off at this. If you went to school, right, and you're now you're in your, uh, like Mr. David Smith here says he's taken an associate degree, for any one of you who has taken courses in high school and in college, remember all that stuff. Document all that stuff. Try to review it before stepping into an interview. Get all your, your ducks lined up, right, all your ducks lined up. And if they ask you a question, you, you can just, boom, knock one off. You, you got that. You answer it because you know it, right? And they'll ask you another question. You knock it off because you know it. You just direct. Don't, you don't need to sit there and think, oh, I, didn't, I never worked with that. I, I don't have experience with that. If you really don't have experience with it, obviously you can't fake it and you say, no, but I'm willing to try. I'm willing to learn because I'm very highly motivated right now. And I know that if I sit in front of it and I start learning it and I just, you know, play around with it, I can easily start using it, right? In most cases, that's how 
new applications, new software, new GUIs. That's how everyone learns it. There's, there's not everyone's gonna. I mean, they'll they'll vendors usually supply the training, but it's it's not all that difficult. So that's why if you the more you get yourself familiar with these applications, software, tools that are out there, you start understanding it, right? So. I'll leave it off at that and I hope this helps you guys understand that there is an opportunity. Don't give up just because you don't have the experience. There's many other ways to sell yourself. All right. So thank you guys. And please remember to hit that like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.